This is a map of Georgia in 1820. All of the gray land belonged to the Native Americans, Cherokee to the north and the Creeks to the south. In January 1821, the first treaty was signed between the United States government and the Muscogee Creek Indians. General William McIntosh, half Creek, half Scottish, brokered the treaty and was personally given $40,000 and 1,000 acres as a reward. All Creek land north of Lyon Creek and west of the Flint River was given to the state of Georgia in exchange for $200,000 to be paid over 14 years. Fayette County was one of five counties created from that land. This is Lyon Creek. Few living in Peachtree City and Southern Fayette County know of the historic significance of this creek. It was the border between Creek Indian land and the state of Georgia, but not for very long. In 1823, Brigadier General Alexander Ware, a friend of Chief McIntosh, was appointed to survey the new land. He was also given a large land grant in southern Fayette County, bordering Line Creek. Resentment and anger were brewing in a militant group of Creek Indians known as Red Sticks. They were fierce protectors of tribal land, proficient with weapons, and terrorized even their own people if they were friendly to white settlers. The Treaty at Indian Springs was signed in February 1825, ceding the rest of the Creek land to Georgia. General McIntosh had convinced some of the Creek rulers that it was inevitable that their land would be taken anyway. In reality, McIntosh was profiting financially from this treaty as well. The red sticks were livid General McIntosh's fate was sealed. He and two associates were murdered by Red Stick leader Minowa and others on April 30th, 1825 in Carroll County, Georgia. Alexander Ware wrote a letter to Governor George McIntosh's troop, cousin to Chief McIntosh, begging for weapons to stock a fort built on Line Creek named Fort Troop. It was built to protect friendly Native Americans and white settlers from the militant Red Sticks. The letter also states that the fort was needed because some white settlers were stealing property from the Native Creeks and the fort was needed to protect the Creek women and children. In 1826, the Creeks sent a group to Washington, D.C. to protest the treaty. It eventually was declared invalid and a new treaty, the Treaty of Washington, was signed. However, the governor refused to honor the new treaty and began forcibly removing the Creeks from their land anyway. The Creek Native Americans, along with other tribes, were sent to reservations in Oklahoma. By 1838, most were gone from their homeland. After Chief McIntosh's murder, his wife and son fled to the Fayette County home of Alexander Ware near present-day Peachtree City. A while after Governor Troop received Ware's letter regarding weapons and provisions for Fort Troop, he sent them. Most were unused and the fort left to decay. No trace of it has been found and there is only speculation as to its location on Lion Creek. Alexander Ware moved to East Texas, Mexico at the time 
In 1835, after several failed business ventures, including a gold mine, he was 46 years old and eager for a new adventure. He purchased land near St. Augustine, Texas shortly after he arrived, but there would be no new adventure. He was robbed and murdered on June 8, 1836, while traveling alone near his property. When you're in the area, stop by the Line Creek Nature Preserve and walk the trails and remember the historic nature of this beautiful place. It's more than the Coweta Fayette County line, it's history.